Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video just showing my Christmas cards for this year, some of the ornaments I've been working on, and a couple of the other stocking stuffers I picked up along the way. So I'll show you the stocking stuffers quickly. Um, you've seen these spatulas from earlier in the month, the Christmas haul I did. I also picked up, I usually just do stocking stuffers for my mom. Uh, my mom and dad don't buy presents for each other, and my mom is like the stocking queen, so she will buy stocking stuff for dad, and then I just make sure she has something in her stocking. <laughs> so um, she was looking for hand cream for her purse, so I found this really nice Caudalie gift set um, at Sephora. These are just, she wanted like a tube instead of like the hard plastic, so I think this will be perfect. And I wanted to show, um, I found these adorable little canisters at the dollar store. This one's a Santa, a little Santa hat, and the other one is a snowman. So these were three dollars at the dollar store, and I thought I would fill them up with some candy that my parents like and give one to each of them. So my mom is getting burnt peanuts. Do you guys like burnt peanuts? I don't get it. I love peanuts, but it's the Peanuts with like the weird candy red coating on them. I don't know, she loves them. I'm not a huge fan. And my dad is getting jelly slices. These I can get behind. Jelly slices are delicious. So I'm just gonna fill up these little containers with those and leave them in their stocking for Christmas morning. I also wanted to show, um, I bought some like Christmas ribbon and I just wanted to show you how a couple of my presents turned out. Um, it's beautiful ribbon, so like, so pretty and so simple and I'm not the best at wrapping things. So things like this, it's like little touch, really just makes, makes all the difference. And um, do you guys do this? I do this, where you pretend that things are from your pet uh, so here is to everyone from Dexter, which is our cat. Uh, am I the only weirdo that does that? It's because it's, um, truthfully, it's tickets to a comedian in the new year that I really like. And so I got all three of us tickets, my parents and I, and I didn't want to be like, hey, it's for me, but also there's a ticket for me in there. So it's from the cat. All right, so Christmas cards. Um, I'll be honest, my Christmas cards didn't quite turn out the way I wanted them to this year. I had mentioned that I wanted to do like an aperture card. Um, so I wanted it to be a card with a window cut out of it and then in the window would be the cross stitch. I had the hardest time cutting, trying to cut the window out of like one piece of, of cardstock and then trying to get the cross stitch like centered and even and it has a border so that had to look like it was straight and had the same amount of space around the edges and I just couldn't make it work. I even tried um, cutting just strips of cardstock and doing like two at the top and two at the side and I just I just didn't like it. So this is what my Christmas card looks like this year. I just ended up doing like a fray on the edges, which I was hoping that my cards would look a little more like professional. I don't know, this, I like the fray, but it's just like, it's very handmade and I wasn't entirely happy with it. <laughs> so this is what I ended up with. Um, I am still loving this little design that I picked. Just a little wreath and I did put a little bit of Krennic in there. Um, it's a really, subtle like silvery Krennic in the wreath so you can't quite see it uh, on the video but originally all of these background bits were supposed to be beads but I made them just this off-white color so they would look more like snow and then in the wreath I put I'm not sure if the shine of the Krennic will pick up but there is a little bit in there uh, and then I just put some sequins on them, and that is my card for this year. Like I said, not exactly what I had planned, but um, I'm not unhappy with them. Uh, everyone I have given them to has been very lovely and kind and complimentary, so happy with that. 
Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about were some of these ornaments I had been trying. So I picked up some of these Mill Hill ornament kits. Originally I wanted to put them on my presents, but uh, my mom actually is really looking forward to having them and like putting them around the house. So I didn't want the cat to get at them, and so I'm just going to put them all in a bag and give them to her <laughs> on Christmas. But this is the first one I tried. It's an uh, emerald wreath. And here is mine. I find these little projects both very like fun and also kind of frustrating. <laughs> um, this one wasn't so bad. Uh, it was a good one for me to start with. Uh, something that I think is cool is they have these little, I'm not sure if you can see the gold in here, the gold bead. It's like a five bead knot. And it was really easy to do, and I thought that was so cool. They're like little bead knots. So that's the wreath. The next one I did was this one, Be Merry. And here is mine. This is the beginning of my frustration <laughs> for these ornaments. Firstly, the greenery in this, it's meant to look like, um, I guess like fir or something like that, like a fir tree, but it took forever. Uh, it's a very pretty effect, this like kind of leafy bough looking part, but that took forever. And then this little <laughs> Santa hat with a little charm on the end. Okay, so the Santa hat is stitched separately on like a separate piece of perforated paper, and then it's like put over onto the top of this and stitched on. Why? Why wouldn't it just all be one piece? I don't understand that. <laughs> it's not really adding any like dimension. This little tacked on Santa hat. There's the back of it. It's kind of a disaster. Um, but anyway, so this was the beginning of my frustration. These little pieces that you have to like reassemble. So the next one I did uh, is this one, Charmed Mitten, and it's uh, Santa's Night. It's the cutest one but it was so much work. <laughs> so this is that one. So it has a little charm here, and then this is a little stocking that's on separately. And then his little, uh, his little mustache is a little bead loop, two little bead loops. And then, okay, so the top of the mitten, once again, is a separate piece that you stitch separately and then reattached. Why? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just this all just be one mitten. This I understand attaching separately, but just didn't get that. Also, this is where I started to be kind of frustrated with the kit. Um, I ran out of gold beads in this kit, which is so weird because normally they give you like three times as many beads. So I don't know what happened there, but I ran out of gold beads. Luckily, it's a really common, it's like 42011 or it's in a lot of mirabilias. So I had some of them. Thankfully. Um, the other thing was this little stocking, they did not tell you how to attach it. They were just like, attach the stocking, refer to the photo, no photo. Uh, so I assume they meant refer to this photo, which like, yeah, it looks beautiful. It's like a little loop, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so what I did was I just like looped the floss around the very corner of the stocking and then just like, stuck it in where I wanted it, and then just secured the floss at the back. That's, that's how it's hanging on. I don't know if that's right, but that's how I did it. And the last one I have here, I just finished last night. It is Santa's sack. And here it is. It is the most like intricate <laughs> of all of them. Also the most beadwork. This is almost solid beading, the actual like bag of presents. And then these three presents were all stitched separately, cut out, and then attached to the top. Sorry, had to sneeze. <laughs> so these three presents were all stitched separately, cut out, and then stitched onto the top, which I understand that. Like this is a three-dimensional thing and you couldn't stitch them in this way overlapping on the main piece. So I understand that. Like, I understand why this is done this way. This thing, though, I don't understand why that had to be separate. 
So it has, we'll show these little presents first. They each have, or two of them have, little bead loops for bows, which I think are so cute. That one and this little gold one. And then there is a humongous bead loop on the actual, like, bag. And then little jingle bells. So this one was, oh, there's the bag, <laughs> in case you're interested. Um, this one, this is what I like about these projects, is they do require, like, there are lots of steps to follow, and they are very well outlined, and I enjoy things like that, like, lists of things to do, and then you do them in that order, and then you end up with this item. Um, something that was kind of frustrating is, like, tacking on all these little presents, but... I mean, you can't argue with that. Look at how cute that is. So I have three other um, ornaments that I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna be working on them this weekend. Um, I've been showing pictures of these on my Instagram, so that's linked down below. If you wanna see the pictures of the last three ornaments, they will be on there once they're done. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to talk about. Candy, stockings, cards, ornaments. That's it. So. I will have to say, because this is the last video I will be making before Christmas, uh, and probably before the new year, um, I am planning on, once these ornaments are done, um, spending the rest of December and January stitching stuff of my own design. Uh, and then I'll have some prototypes to show you in January. Uh, I'm looking forward to and also am terrified of your feedback on those. <laughs> I really would like to start um, an Etsy shop. I find like stitching your own stuff is really satisfying. So we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna use the rest of this month in January as like kind of a creative time. I will be starting the Mirabilia Stitch Along on January 1st. That's probably the only thing I'll be stitching in that month though that's not um, like out of my own brain. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Winter. Uh, whatever it is you celebrate, if you don't celebrate anything, enjoy your time off if you get it. And um, thank you again for all of your support. This year has been really fantastic, and I owe that all to you, all of you wonderful people. So thank you very much, and I will see you next year. Bye.